So recently, I discovered that over the years, I had uploaded over 200 plus Forex videos. Some were good, some were bad. Especially those at the start before we hired videographers to help us do everything properly. And after dedicating so much time and uploading over 200 plus Forex videos, there are certain patterns. Regardless of which trading strategy you use, certain elements must be in place for a trading strategy to be profitable. And also certain traps that I see a lot of expiring traders make. And no, I'm not talking about the usual concepts like cutting your losses, riding your winners or having a stop loss. So in this video, as I reflect on this journey, I want to share the insights I have gained as a content creator with you. This is me removing my trader's hat and putting on the content creator hat. So before I proceed, as always, please drop me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I would really appreciate that and you can see that I'm committed to sharing my knowledge with you as evident from the number of videos being uploaded here on YouTube. If you wish to participate in our giveaway worth $37, then look for an emoji somewhere in this video. You can also find the full instructions in a pinned comment down below as well. So the first thing that I realized is that most trading strategies are based on the MPE trading framework. Not exactly per se, but it's very similar. If you are new to this channel, the MPE trading strategy stands for Market Condition, Price Level and Entry Trigger, MPE. And I have created a free day trading guide which you can download via the link in the description down below. Most trading strategies that I've recorded on this channel always deals with understanding the underlying market context. I always caution that you should never trade directly off a key level or indicator. For example, if the price is ranging, then you want to use a ranging trading strategy to buy low and sell high. And in a trending market, you want to look for pullbacks. If you look back at this forex strategy trading video that I did over here, you will see that it follows the MPE trading strategy structure. And even though the steps involved are different from the MPE trading strategy on the surface level, if you take the time to think about it, it still follows the same framework. And that brings me to the point that the MPE trading strategy is not just a strategy. Rather, it's a framework. It's a framework that you can use to view most trading strategy. A sound trading strategy should consist of these three elements minimally. Perhaps you subscribe to other YouTube channels that teach you other strategies. I'd like you to apply this perspective as a lens and let me know in the comments if it follows the MPE framework. I'm pretty sure that you will arrive at the same conclusion except for maybe a trading strategy that involves entering in limit orders. So the first thing that I realized is that most trading strategies follow the same framework. Now, the second thing I realized is that trading is all about your trading psychology. Trading strategy videos can only do so much for you. The harsh truth is that most traders fail not because of the strategy, but because of their trading psychology. They spend all their time watching trading strategy videos on YouTube and wonder why there's no improvement in their equity curve. And that's because they refuse to work on their trading psychology. So sometimes I get really upset and discouraged when I hear subscribers blow their trading account even after putting in the hours to create videos like this to educate them on risk management. And after uploading over 200 plus videos, my team does receive some nasty comments. And we have to moderate the comments. We have traders who take a couple of trades, perhaps just two or three trades, and when they start losing money using a given strategy, they conclude that it doesn't work. And then they leave a nasty comment. These are the kind of things that we deal with in our backend which you do not see. And while I love to help you and share my trading experiences with you, I can't help everybody. 
especially those who refuse to accept the harsh reality of trading. I have since then accepted this as a reality and learned to block out any hate or negative comments. To those who are willing to listen and correct your approach to trading, my team and I are here to help you. But if not, there's nothing much we can do for you. As some of you may already know, my team runs a highly profitable trading algorithm that has done just around 2,400% since inception. It looks good and the results are fully verified on my FX book. And because it's fully verified by my FX book, there's no way I can fake this result or edit it in any way. So we run the algorithm through a PAM system, a system that allows us to see who subscribes to the algorithm, how much they have made and their withdrawals and such. And it's sad to tell you that despite us making our profitable algorithm open to the public, investors still lose money because of emotions. Same as before, they suffer a bit of drawdown, get emotional and unsubscribe from the strategy. Time and time again, I always ask myself if there was something I could have done. Could I have educated them better? Should I have been more explicit in explaining the risk so that they come in with the right mindset? Well, I don't really know. Perhaps you could let me know. So please learn to master your trading psychology because even the most profitable trading algorithm will not work for you if you do not master your trading psychology. Moving on to the last insight, this is something that most content creators won't tell you. And that's because it's not in their interest to tell you this. It is in their interest to create content that keeps you engaged so that you keep watching. This makes the YouTube algorithm happy so that it promotes their content. And what better way to do it by showing you all the money you could potentially make and making bold claims all over the internet. Have you ever wondered why you tend to see the same type of videos on YouTube? You know, those kind of videos that say you can turn $1,000 to $10,000 in 3 days or how this strategy has a win rate of 99.99% or a strategy that always makes money. Well, you get it. I'm sure you know what I mean. Well, you will not find these kind of videos on this channel because that's not something that my team believes in. Do you know why content creators create such videos? Well, that's because that's what sells. That's what gets the attention and as a result, the YouTube algorithm starts to promote those videos and it does well. Now contrast this to a content creator who wants to be honest with you and tell you things like, hey, trading is really difficult, you need to study, you need to put in the time and effort to backtest, you need to demo trade. This is what you need to watch out for and such. Which do you think is sexier? Which do you think will reel in a bigger audience and have the viewers watching for a longer time? Well, it doesn't take a genius to know that such videos won't do well. And when it doesn't do well, creators stop producing them because it does nothing for them in terms of viewership and growth on YouTube. So what you end up with is a bunch of Forex videos that tell you how easy it is and how you can make a million dollars even if you have just $500. Because these do well and so the YouTube algorithm pushes them up and you see it. In fact, it's so easy to get jaded and create what viewers want to see even if it isn't true. After all, that's what people want to see so why not just give them what they want, right? Anything just to get a click and view. Having uploaded over 200 plus videos on this channel, this is me being honest with you. It is always a struggle for me to create a video that does well and at the same time addresses your needs. I do my best to strike a balance between the two but it isn't easy. So please take a moment to hit that subscribe button if that's something that you appreciate. So summing up this video, it's been a long journey uploading over 200 plus videos. The first thing that I realized is that most trading strategies follow the MPE framework. Do grab the free day trading guide which teaches you the strategy in the description down below. The next insight is that a trading strategy video can only do so much for you. 
it will not turn you into a profitable trader if you lack the proper trading psychology. Lastly, I shared with you why content creators like myself are often reluctant to create videos that tell you the truth. From the algorithm standpoint, I explain why creators are incentivized to sell you a pipe dream and keep you engaged. If you enjoyed this video and believe that YouTube needs to start showing more of these kind of videos to educate others, please share this video around. With your help, we can hopefully impact the trading community out there. Trading is tough on its own, so let's not make it harder for ourselves by buying into all the lies and bullshit that it is easy. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I will catch you in the next video.